morning. Uh, messing around with a couple ideas. Um, kind of bringing some tapping hammer on things into play. Um, kind of going further down this rabbit hole uh, with what I was doing with For Now, which was my tune emulating uh, Vic Wooten's kind of very staccato um, idea. So, starting with this chord. So it's like an A7 with that G added up there. So I'm doubling the G and the A. Or, uh, sorry, so there's the A way up there. And that's just my C sharp. And then I'm doing a suspension. And then bringing the A down there. My second chord, I'm doing a B flat major seven, so it's like a B flat chord, but you're leaving the that A open up there. And then I'm using that guy the C up to the D um, for my color. So here's here's the pattern I was doing. So it all it all starts with this middle finger hammer on. So, um, so my thumb, pointer, middle finger on my left hand or right hand is waiting for that hammer on pull off thing to happen. Thumb one two, thumb one two, thumb one two, thumb one two. All right. Now here's where it gets tricky because when I switch to the B flat, everything stays the same, and you notice I'm still hitting the second fret. That is purely so I don't lose track of what I'm doing, right? Because um, I'm keeping that G down. It's not, so putting my middle finger on the second fret behind it, it's not doing anything. But it helps me keep that pattern going. So I go. Cool getting back in and out of it. Cool meaning hard. So I'm using that, that idea, right? This is something that just happened this morning while I'm sitting in the car waiting for my uh, mom-in-law to finish up with church. Um, so I got the leaf plugged in, charging and all that. And 
I always bring my Kamoa with me so I could just noodle. Um, and the reason I bring my Kamoa and not one of my other ukes is because um, the action is so low that I can do. Right, like, I'm not using. Right, so that's all hammer on and like kind of left hand tap stuff. And that's how I get a lot of my noodling ideas. Um, you know, and then I figure out what chords those are, are so I, um, then I can figure out what chords might work well with it or purposefully not work well with it. And then I just do that, right? Uh, my next step would be to get so comfortable with that that I can do it in my sleep. And then I would start singing over it, whether there's words or just nonsense syllables or scatting or whatever. Um, and if there's a range or a line that I want to do that I don't feel like I can do vocally, I'll do it whistling, something like that. And then, again, purpose of this video, um, other than your enjoyment, I hope, um, is for me to be able to look back at it and go, Oh, that's really cool. What was I doing? That's weird. Why did I do that? Asking those kind of questions before I actually sit down and start putting lyrics to it. So, short video this week. I hope you enjoy it. Um, let me know what kind of noodles you come up with. Um, whether it's a simple chord progression, right? Or you're coming up with something that you don't think sounds good, but it's fun to play. Right? You can hear I still need tons of practice to get this um, where I can play it. And that's half the fun of it. So, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know what you want to hear. Um, whether you really enjoy these kind of two chord noodles um or if you want to hear more covers and if you want to hear specific things let me know down in the comments um yeah follow along thanks so much guys